Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to talk about new releases at Sephora and I'm so excited because I always get super pumped about new makeup and skincare releases and I just stalk that new arrival section on Sephora Online like all the time. And there's been a few things that have caught my eye recently, so I've been stocking up over the last month. So I picked up a few things that I'm really excited about. One thing was sent to me, but I have lots of thoughts on all five of these items. And yeah, can't wait to share them with you guys, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing, let's talk about this gorgeous blush by Buxom. I was so excited when they released these Wonderlust blushes. I feel like we are so overdue for a good blush release. Blush has been one thing that I've been just really excited to try. I don't know, it's just that one makeup item that I feel like really makes a difference. But these blushes are gorgeous. These are the Wonderlust blushes. They come in six different shades. They're $22. I picked up the shade Ibiza. And the claims on these, it says they're a silky primer infused powder blush that locks in luminous true color for up to 12 hours. And these are really cool because they're actually infused with hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is a moisturizing agent so it's really going to help seal in that hydration it's going to help to aid in the smoothness of the formula which is why I think I love this blush so much I feel like it just goes on so silky smooth and it gives just this like luminous finish to your cheeks it doesn't really add any like glittery radiance or anything like that looking at it up close you can't see any glitter flecks whatsoever but it gives the most sheer beautiful finish to the cheeks and it just makes your cheeks look so healthy and fresh and just almost like youthful looking. They're, it's, they're just so gorgeous. Now I have to warn you, picking a shade was kind of a daunting task. I was actually going to pick up Seychelles or Dolly, but Dolly, seeing it in stores, I felt like Dolly was a little bit more like a purpley mauve color, and then Seychelles actually seemed more of a neutral shade. Both really beautiful, and the one, the color Seychelles looked amazing on Tati, so I think uh, currently it's sold out on Sephora's website. I'm sure that's why, because Tati raved about that color so much. And Dolly was pretty too but I don't know there was just something about this color it wasn't too purpley it wasn't too pink it was that like perfect middle ground it does swatch super bright if you go in with a heavy hand but going light-handed you can build it up and it is just the most gorgeous color and the formula is really just so smooth it goes on so effortlessly I think these are gonna be a new favorite I think they might even replace my Tarte Amazonian clay blushes I always thought that they were the most longest lasting blushes and they are, they really can last me all day, but these, oh my gosh, they, these don't fade at all. Like they're the same color from the start of the day to the end of the day. They're just gorgeous. They're long lasting. I love the formula. So I would definitely recommend these. I'm super excited about these blushes. Maybe I will pick up seashells. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, I do really love this color. So super excited about that blush. And then next up, let's talk about lipsticks. So Bare Minerals just released these at Bare Pro lipsticks. And they caught my eye because, well, first of all, they were all over Instagram. I feel like Instagram always gets me. But the line had so many gorgeous shades. There's a ton of gorgeous nudes and lots of really pretty bold shades, but they're wearable bold shades. So I was just super intrigued by this line and the claims really got me. So they're $20 for 0.07 ounces and they're supposed to be a full coverage mineral rich lipstick with a soft matte finish that wears up to eight hours. So the eight hour claim really got me because I'm all about a lipstick more so than a liquid lip. The only time I really reach for a liquid lip is if, you know, for an event or a wedding where I want my lipstick to be long lasting, but it just drives me nuts that they always dry my lips out. But these are infused with Wahoba and sunflower seed oil. So I'm like, yes, they're gonna be really long lasting and moisturizing, bullet lipstick, like what more can you want? And this really lived up to the claims. So I picked up the shade Camellia. It's a really pretty like peachy nude. I feel like I've been going crazy with my pinky toned colors recently. So I wanted to get more of a peachy color and I am so happy I picked up the shade. It is just the most gorgeous peachy toned nude. It has the slightest amount of pink to it, but not too much. I think it'd be a gorgeous color for a smoky eye, but I've been loving this for just an everyday lip. You can swipe it on, it lasts all day. And the coolest part about this, it's so long lasting, but it never like cracks, settles into fine lines. It just wears so nicely. It feels like nothing on the lips and it fades nicely too. You know how liquid lips can leave that almost like a lipstick line in between, you know, your mouth and your lip. I just think that's so unflattering, but these fade really nicely when they do fade, but the color, it, the color really does stick around. This lipstick makes me just want to throw out all my liquid lipsticks because I mean, why do you need a liquid lipstick anymore? This lasts forever. It feels good on the lips and it's moisturized. So I'm really excited about these. Definitely want to pick up more colors. The color Petal, and there's also a cinnamon shade. It's like a 
almost like a brick red, but still really wearable. That looked really pretty as well. So definitely want to pick up some more shades from the line. So I'm really excited about that lipstick line as well. And then I picked up a new lipstick by Milk Makeup. So I was super excited to see that Milk released a new lipstick line. I just feel like they do face products so well. Everything is so flattering and everything wears so nicely. I just felt like if any brand is going to nail a lipstick formula, it's going to be Milk Makeup. And they really did do such a good job with this formula. These lipsticks are so good. But I picked up the shade Cream. I'm wearing it today, and I'm telling you, this is going to be like my new go-to everyday lipstick shade. I love it. It's like that Your Lips But Better shade. It's just so pretty. But as far as the claims go with this, so this is $24 for 0.14 ounces. They're demi-matte lip colors that are packed with pigment and hydrating ingredients, so you get standout, comfortable color all in one swipe. And they contain some great things in here. There's shea butter, coconut oils in here, grapeseed oil, and also this bamboo-derived blurring powder that is supposed to smooth the look of lips for a soft focus finish. And I thought Urban Decay had my most favorite wearable matte lipsticks, but I don't know, I think these might replace them. I'm not a huge matte lipstick wearer, but if I do wear matte lipstick, I want them to have a little bit of life to my lips. And I feel like I don't have any gloss or anything over this, and I feel like it does have the tiniest bit of shine, like it just looks really natural and just I don't know, it just looks nice on your lips. And the formula is super comfortable. Just like the Bare Minerals, it feels really lightweight. It feels like there's nothing on your lips. It's really hydrating and just moisturizing. It almost feels like, I don't know, almost like a powder finish on the lips, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people describe the Pat McGrath lipsticks to feel like that. They just feel like nothing and they're just really lightweight. And that's how this lipstick feels. It just feels so good. It's buildable, but not at the same time. Like you could get enough color with just a one swipe, but you can apply this throughout the day and not have to worry about your lips looking like built up and cakey or like textured. I feel like a lot of matte liquid lips are hard to build, but these reapply really nicely. I love the packaging. It has that like satisfying magnetic closure. It feels like really heavy and luxe. So I'm super excited about this bold lipstick another lipstick that I want to get more shades of because the formula is just so good. And like I said, I'm not a big matte lipstick person, but I don't know, these two lipsticks might have me converted because they're just so nice and they just wear so well. And this lipstick shade, like I said, it's going to be my new go-to. And it reminds me a lot of, I feel like I always used to rave about the Bare Minerals liquid lip in the shade Swag. It's just that like perfect mauve everyday color. So if you're a fan of that shade, I think you would really like this color cream. Just so pretty, so flattering. So yeah, super pumped about that lipstick. Okay, next up, let's talk about some skincare. So Volition Beauty just released these apple cider resurfacing peel pads. They're really known for their sunscreen. Do I have it in front of me? I thought I did. So their SPF of 50, their prismatic luminizing shield is so good. It gives the most beautiful glow to your skin, but they just really know skincare. They do skincare so well. So I was excited to see that they released these and I'm all about an AHA these days so I was super pumped to try these out so let me go through some of the ingredients with you guys so first off these contain 30 pads in here it's $64 so it is a pretty pricey product it comes in these little packets and the little applicators are actually they're so cute they're these little like finger pouches you can fit two fingers in here and they're really super saturated, so I really like that. You really get a lot of bang for your buck. There's a ton of product on them. So yeah, I really think they did a great job with the packaging. I love those pads. And as far as the ingredients go, so just some things to highlight. So the biggest active ingredient in here is probably your glycolic acid, and that's fourth down on the ingredient list. So these pads are going to pack a punch because glycolic is one of your most strongest AHAs. It's one of the smallest, too, so it can really penetrate deeply into your skin. And this also contains apple fruit extract. So apple can contain a lot of naturally occurring AHAs, so it can act as more of a natural exfoliant. But the jury's really still out with apple, so there's not too many studies out there to show the proven efficacy of apple related to skincare and treating skincare concerns. And actually, a lot of things say that it can be a sense sensitizing ingredient. There's also some things to say that it can be soothing. So it can go either way. So basically the jury's still out with apple fruit extract. It's in a ton of skincare products, especially I feel like Juice Beauty has a lot of apple in it and people love those products. So who knows? 
Maybe it's soothing, maybe it exfoliates. But my experience with these pads, so I've used these probably for about two weeks now. When I first applied them, like I said, I love how saturated the pads are. They give this nice, like, satisfying tingle, so you feel like it's actually doing the job, and you really feel like you're just exfoliating those dead skin cells away. And each morning I've woken up with really smooth and bright skin. The only thing with these, every so often I'll get some irritation, I'll get some, like, red patches, and my hyperpigmentation almost looks a little darker. Now, I reached out to my one of my friends on here on YouTube, Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care. She is a certified esthetician. I was asking her about this. I'm like, I'm getting some irritation from these pads. Should I stop them? Is it just this initial stage that I have to get through before I really see those exfoliating benefits? So she was saying, if you look at the ingredient list, I mean, glycolic is a really strong AHA, so it could be irritation from that. But there's also lemon in here and orange fruit extract, two of which could be really irritating ingredients. There's also alcohol denatured way down the ingredient list. Now, alcohol denatured, it can be beneficial in a product if it's super far down because it can help to drive those active ingredients into the skin, but it also can be an irritant. So I might be getting some irritation from all these extra extracts that are in here. So it's kind of hard to say. I might just be getting the irritation because these are super strong. So I feel like these products could be great for those that already have a lot of experience with stronger AHAs and are used to these more like peeling products. They might be a little too strong for me. I'm going to cut back down on the amount of times I use them per week. Maybe I'll go to once a week. Right now I was using them probably, I want to say like every other day, three times a week. So I'm going to try and cut down my usage and see if that helps the irritation. Now I will say if you are on the drier side like me, the First Day Beauty Facial Radiance Pads are awesome. I got these through Octoly and they're really nice and gentle. If you have super dry skin like me, these might be a better option. Or if you're new to exfoliating products, maybe try this. The glycolic is a little further down on the ingredient list and there's also lactic acid in here. That's another AHA that's a little bit more gentle than glycolic. So these might be a little bit easier to handle for those that aren't really used to using heavy exfoliating products. But if you want something intense, I think you might like the Volition Pads. But just approach with caution and maybe introduce them, I don't know, maybe once weekly to start and see how your skin responds. But if you're going to try out anything from Volition, give this SPF a go. It's so good. Let me just show you real quick how nice this is. It is really kind of runny and liquidy, so it's really thin and lightweight. Sits really nicely under makeup, but it gives the most gorgeous glow to the skin also. So if you're going makeup free at the beach, it is just so pretty. It just makes your skin look so healthy. But see how it doesn't leave any kind of white cast whatsoever. It's just it's just a nice like luminosity to your skin. It's just so pretty. So definitely excited about that. The peel pads might be a little intense for me, but I don't know if you have experience, they might be your go-to. But for me, they were just a little irritating. But they're a new product at Sephora. And then last but not least, let's talk about Urban Decay's Brow Blade. So this had me so excited. Probably for the fact that I really want to get my eyebrows microbladed, but the fact that, I know it's not permanent, but it just feels like a permanent thing to me. So this was just like the next best option and the whole concept seemed really cool. So it's a dual sided product. The one side has the pencil and then the other side has the marker felt tip. And this is going to be the side that's going to give your brows that microbladed effect. And this side is probably my most favorite part about the pencil. But before I get into what I thought about this, let me read you some quick things. So it's $26. You get 0.0018 ounces of the pencil side, and there's 0.01 ounces in the ink side. Now, in comparing this with the Brow Wiz, the pencil side is actually a little bit less product than the Brow Wiz is. So you keep that in mind, you are getting a little bit less product, but then you do have the marker side as well. The ink stain brush tip creates precise hair-like strokes while the creamy waterproof pencil fills in sparse areas. And like I said, my most favorite part about this pencil is probably the marker side. It's just so different and unique, and it really just distributes the pigment so nicely and evenly. I was really apprehensive about a marker. I just felt like it was gonna be a little bit too intense, but it applies brow hairs just so natural. And it's really cool because it really does almost stain your skin, which I know can sound kind of funny, but it's nice that when you wash off your makeup, you're actually left with a little bit of pigment underneath your brow hairs. But I like that in the morning, you can still wake up with a little bit of brow left over, and you're not really feeling like, 
I don't know, a hairless cat or something. You can get it off if you use like a double cleanse or even a cleansing balm, it does come off. But when I swatched these in stores, I had like brown strokes all over my hand and I was trying to get them off and the color really does stick around. It really did stain my hand, so just keep that in mind. But it does wash off easily. You just kind of have to put some extra pressure to it. But I just love the end result I get with this pencil. So I like that it gives almost like an ombre effect. And I get that by using the marker tip in the front of my brow. I just do like light strokes in the front. And then at the end, I use the pencil to create the tail. Now I will say the pencil is great. It goes on really super smooth. It's really pigmented. I don't know if it's anything to write home about. I feel like it's just as good as my e.l.f. Precision Brow. It lasts just as long. But it is really nice and smooth. And I appreciate that there is a pencil on the one side as well. $26 is pretty pricey, but I think the marker side is really cool. It's really inventive. Now the color, I think my color is a little off. I ended up going with Brunette Betty. It's the second to darkest shade. I do feel like it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I think it matches my root color pretty well, but it does have kind of a slight warm undertone. So I might actually return it and try and pick up the more neutral shade. I think it's, I forgot what it's called, but I'll insert the name of it. That looked like it was a little bit more suitable to my brows, but it wasn't available in store so I might go back and try to return for a different color but I just love how this performed I love the marker tip I think it's so cool that the color and pigment actually sticks around so you get that microbladed effect without the commitment and without the heavy price tag so I think this product is really cool super fun and yeah I just think it's like really innovative I feel like brow products are everywhere of course but the marker tip is just something new I tried one from the drugstore was it essence it might have been Essence, and I just felt like it was way too heavy, and it literally looked like I put a marker on my brows. So I was a little apprehensive, but I'm super impressed by the results, and I'm really excited about this. But I feel like all these products, most of them I was pleasantly surprised by, especially these lip products. Like I said, I'm like a converted matte lipstick fan. I just love these formulas, super excited about these, and this blush just like has my heart. I just love this color, and I just love... I just love how it applies and how it wears all day. I'm just super pumped about the blush as well. So I feel like I feel like we did good here. I feel like there were lots of good things. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Do you like to see new releases? Do you like to see new makeup reviews? I always love to hear your guys' input on what kind of videos you like. And I actually just posted on my Instagram stories. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on there because I want to hear from you guys. But I asked if you guys would be interested in the new Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I know a lot of people just canceled heart but some people are actually really intrigued by this foundation so far it's been a 50 50 so I might just go ahead and pick up that foundation to do a review for you guys but yeah I'd love to hear from you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video see you guys